Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. I just pulled into boot camp. It's 4.54 a.m. Everybody should be here literally any minute. And I'm going to kick it into year for boot camp this week. Our instructor was out last week, so we were kind of on our own. I mean, I still really killed my workouts, but I want to get back to being miserable during my workouts now that Julia, the instructor, is back. She was out sick with a cold. It seems to really be going around here. In fact, my friend Kate from boot camp messaged me yesterday and said she won't be here because she's sick. So, Fingers crossed I don't get it because I do not have time to be sick, but I'm here and I'm looking forward to really pushing myself for boot camp today. We have a busy day today. I am taking Lola to the vet this morning for some additional testing. I will fill you guys in on my way home from the vet. I'll prop you up here in my car and we'll talk about Lola and I'll give you some updates and some of my thoughts on everything going on with her. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I've shared what's going on on my Facebook group and my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on both of those places. That's how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day, but I'll fill you guys in. It's just a whirlwind morning. She has to be to the vet by eight and I need to get home, get ready, eat all the things before I take her. So I did have my protein coffee this morning or half of it, I should say. I'll finish that up while I'm getting ready for the day. I'll go ahead and pop up here on the screen what's in my protein coffee and then points all the information for that. I'm not sure what we're gonna do for breakfast. It may be an on-the-go breakfast. We will have to see, but I'm going to grab my mat, my weights. I can't wait to sweat it out. I always feel physically and mentally better after boot camp. Okay, I'm home. I'm ready for the day. I actually just finished my protein coffee. I have about 30 minutes before we have to leave to take Lola to the vet. So breakfast will be on the go today, but I thought I'd share with you my outfit of the day. You guys ask, all the time. Where did you get that shirt? Where did you get those pants? What size are you wearing? Does it fit true to size? So I wanted to share with you my little outfit for today. So starting with the leggings that I have on, my entire outfit today is from Timu. You guys know how much I love Timu. I have been ordering from them nonstop. The pricing and the quality of the clothing cannot be beat. And this outfit, no exception. Everything I'm wearing today, with the exception of my shoes, came from Timu. So let's start with my leggings. These are the black cutout skinny high waist leggings. They're $11.69 before any discounts. There are so many amazing discounts. I'll pop one here up on the screen for you. But before any discounts, they're only $11.69. I would say that they fit a little bit big for me. I definitely could have sized down in the pants. They are a little bit loose on me, but maybe once I wash them and dry them, they'll fit a little bit better. They do have a little bit more of a silky consistency to them than that traditional cotton legging, but they're really, really comfortable and I love how high-waisted they are. If you struggle with your tummy area or for me, my back, they conceal that and they fit really well. And like I said, they're very, very soft and very comfortable. So, so far I'm loving these leggings and I love the little cutout design for a little added fun. And before I share my top with you, you guys have to check these earrings out. These earrings are so cute and they are such high quality. They are not heavy at all. Even though they look really, really stout and heavy, they are not. They're very, very lightweight, super, super cute design. These are the exaggerated vintage boho flower carved hoop dangle earrings. These are 71 cents. 71 cents, less than a dollar. And like I said, the quality is really, really nice. And I think it pairs really nicely with my top. These earrings actually come in gold and silver, or you can buy a two pack where you get one pair of gold and one pair of silver. I wish I would have done that in hindsight because the quality of these for 71 cents before any discounts is insane. And I love them. I may, next time I place an order, I'm probably going to pick up the gold hoops because I tend to wear a lot of silver and gold and rose gold type of jewelry. I love these. And let's just talk about this top. This is absolutely adorable. The quality, exceptional, like everything I've gotten from Timu. It is very, very soft, very comfortable. I would say this absolutely fits true to size. I love the striped sleeves with the little pop of leopard, a little pop of animal print. If you don't love animal print as much as I do, it is nice to have that little pop. This is the leopard print striped t-shirt. It is $9 and 49 cents before any discounts. I have mine in the color dark gray. It also comes in navy blue and dark green. 
green. And like I said, I feel like this fits true to size. I love that it has that knot detail and I love the length. It is perfect to wear with jeans, perfect to wear with leggings, covers up everything you want to cover up. The length is absolutely perfect and it is so soft and so comfortable and it's less than $10. This entire outfit that I'm wearing is less than $20. Leggings, a shirt, and earrings for less than $20. You can't even usually buy a t-shirt for that. So that is why I love Timu. Most of the items on their website are $10 and under and the quality, like I always say is so good. I'm actually going to have an entire dead try on haul with all the rest of the pieces that I picked up from Timu and I did grab a few more kitchen items as well so stay tuned for that video but I thought for sure I'd share my outfit with you. I will link everything down below for you with a discount code. All right I'm getting ready to head out the door to take Lola to the vet. So this is going to be breakfast. I'm going to have a healthy eating all the time and go bar. This is the chocolate protein. Like I always say, whenever I order from them, I get all the protein bars. They have between 10 and 15 grams of protein, nice clean ingredients, fantastic macros, and they keep me nice and full. So I'm going to keep breakfast pretty simple. Like I said, I have 10 minutes to eat this before we head out the door. I do need to stop at the post office and I thought that I would grab a second coffee after I bring Lola to the vet. So this light breakfast is just going to be perfect enough to tide me over until I can come home and either have a snack or have a big lunch. So healthy eating on the go for the win for breakfast. Hey everybody, you're going to the vet. So we're heading to the vet. Vet. hopefully we get some decent news today I'll like I said I'll fill you guys in after I drop her off but she's so good in the car like such a good dog she's literally perfect yes you're literally perfect so we're off baby I'll roll the window down for you so I just dropped off Lola and I'm a little sad I hate leaving her at the vet like I hate leaving her everywhere especially considering everything but she's here um I have a message into the vet to have the vet call me um so I'll fill you guys in a little bit. Let me actually get on the road so that I can not be an emotional mess. Pull myself together here. It's just been a really emotional week and just like leaving her here and just knowing that she just, she doesn't do well, you know, being left places. Like even when she gets her nails cut and she's there for 15 minutes, I still worry the whole time. So I guess that's part of being a dog mom. But if you missed a lot of what's been going on on Facebook or Instagram, um, on Tuesday, all three of our dogs had a vet appointment, just a routine vet appointment. They needed checkups, vaccines. All of them have been itching and scratching their ears. So we brought all dogs in on Tuesday. Well, about a week and a half prior to that, Lola's neck lymph nodes were swollen and she was acting totally normal like wasn't acting sick or anything but she did have the swollen lymph nodes so i thought well since we have an appointment scheduled we'll just talk about it then so we bring them all in all three dogs have an ear infection so that was fun so they all got medication for that the vet is a little bit concerned about diesel he has a big mass on his side he's had it forever she's concerned that it could be some type of tumor so we talked about that and if we did a biopsy and found out that it was a tumor what would we do because diesel's 11 years old and i mean obviously we wouldn't put him through any type of treatment he, or any other surgery after he had his acl surgery a couple years ago his arthritis is really really bad so just his age and overall health i mean he's healthy but like overall health we would not put our dog back through any surgery or chemo and then lola was the last one that she did the exam on and she kind of felt her neck and felt the her body and let us know that all of the lymph nodes in her body were swollen her neck her abdomen i think behind maybe her front legs on her belly area and then back behind her back legs and i did feel behind her back legs and it was the lymph nodes were definitely swollen. All of this is conducive of lymphoma, which is a cancer in dogs. So immediately I start bawling, obviously. <clears throat> Devastated, crying in the, the vet office. Troy's crying, I'm crying. Lola's very upset that I'm crying because she's very in tune with me. So she's all in my business licking my face. And so I didn't really know, like I, I, I know the word cancer obviously is never a word that you wanna hear, but I just didn't know what lymphoma meant. So the vet explained it a little bit further. Um, it's a non-curable cancer. I mean, it's treatable, whether it's done with steroids for short-term treatment or if it's done with chemo for longer-term treatment. It's a very fast-moving cancer. It's a very 
aggressive, progressively detrimental cancer. I mean, any dog that gets lympho lymphoma, that's what they pass away from, right? It's very, very sad. And her swollen lymph nodes are very big indicators of lymphoma. So the vet actually aspirated the lymph nodes in her neck and sent that off for testing. Called me a couple days later and let me know that the test results came back lining up with lymphoma. So she wanted Lola to come in today for some additional testing. She's actually getting blood work done and she gets a full panel, like a senior panel of blood work. She's having a ultrasound done and she's having some x-rays done to figure out, number one, what type of lymphoma she has because there's two. There's, a fa there's one that's more aggressive than the other and then also like how is it affecting the rest of her body because lymphoma generally ends up in your in their bone marrow and their liver and their spleen and that's what generally leads to their death so she wanted to know kind of where Lola was sorry the vet just called well the vet tech just called and I gave my concerns um to the vet tech for today and I'm now in line for coffee but what I was saying I think where I left off before I left I think I left off letting you guys know that they were, the results came back indicating that it was lymphoma and they were very concerned because it's a very fast moving cancer. So I actually did a lot of calling around trying to get Lola into an oncologist to start chemo. We're definitely taking the chemo route rather than the prednisone steroid route because with chemo, it's supposed to extend their life a lot further than the prednisone. So the vet gave me prednisone on Thursday and said, if she gets sick over the weekend, if she has trouble breathing, if it progresses, give her the prednisone. Well, here's what's crazy is Lola is completely normal. She's playing, she's eating, she's drinking, she's pooping. She's doing all of the normal things. Other, the only abnormal thing is that the neck lymph nodes are still swollen. Now I'm not a vet, so it's hard for me to figure out if the lymph nodes in on her chest and her back behind her legs are still swollen. Her neck is a little bit, but the swelling has went down. Wishful thinking maybe, but I'm wondering, like honestly wondering if she doesn't have lymphoma, if she was potentially misdiagnosed and there's another reason why her lymph nodes are swollen, only because she is not sick at all, which is very, very uncommon. Like I said, every support group I'm in is like, she needs treatment now. She's got to get into an oncologist now, but she's not progressing in any sickness, which I'm so grateful for because I can't even handle her being sick at all so I'm grateful for that but I really wanted to talk to the vet this morning before they started all of these process all of these tests on her to really figure out does she have lymphoma or is there another cause for the swelling so I just left another message with the vet tech I had to leave Lola there which I hate and I just want to know for sure in concrete what's going on with her because she just doesn't exhibit the signs of having lymphoma which I'm grateful for but like I said it could be wishful thinking maybe she has a little bit slower progressing one so that's where we're at with everything and we're waiting to get some of these results back it was $1,300 at the vet on Tuesday and today's about $1,100 and we haven't even started any treatment if Lola actually has lymphoma. So, it's been a week you guys. It's been very emotional, very hard on me. So I'm hoping to get good news today or at least some type of concrete news. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted. I'm going to grab my coffee. I need to stop really quickly at the post office and then I'm going to head home and work to take my mind off of things. It is a rainy day in Arizona today and a dreary day makes me even more depressed. That's why I love living here because it's sunny all the time. I just went and got the mail and I got two deliveries and I'm really excited to share these with you guys. I've been looking for something to hold my phone. Usually I just prop my phone up on my light over here when I want to film reels or take photos or use my phone for filming. I do have a little holder in my car, but it's not very good. So I've been looking for something that I can actually use at home and use on the go and for travel. You know, I have a lot of trips coming up this next year. So I want to make sure that whatever I purchase would be great for travel and they showed up today. These are the Clear Look 360 phone holders. I have a set of two pink ones and a black one that I've already been playing around with. I wanted to make sure that I had one for my car, one for home, and then one for travel. These are 360 degree rotation travel essential phone mount for your desk. They're hands-free. They're great for flying on the airplane because they connect to hold your phone so that you can watch movies on the airplane. I love that I can clip it to my desk. I can clip it to my laptop. Really anywhere that I need to have my phone hold steady for filming videos or taking pictures. It has a flexible, adjustable angle. The upper holder is rotatable 
adjustable that allows you to, to adjust the angle 290 degrees and the direction 360 degrees of your phone freely, which can provide the best viewing angle. It does make some clicking sounds when you turn it. It is absolutely essential for travel. Attach the phone stand to the back seat or tray table to free your hands when you're traveling on flight. It's super wide capability, so the upper phone clamp can be adjusted to from 2.09 to 3.78 inches. So it's compatible with most phones such as iPhones and Samsung Galaxy phones, as well as some of those other phone brands out there. They're durable and strong phone clamp that's made of ABS metal, which is durable and stable that ensures your phone will be clamped firmly and it will be fastened to the desk, the airplane, your car, wherever you're using it. There's a spring loaded clamp that fits flat objects up to almost two inches, 1.57 inches, Thick. It has non-slip rubber pads to protect your device from scratching or falling. It's the perfect gift for yourself or the gift for anyone that travels or if you're looking to maybe start a YouTube channel or you struggle like me, where to put your phone to take photos and videos. This is amazing and I love that you can buy it in a two pack, you can buy it in a single. It comes in black, pink, and white. So like I said, I wanted to have three of them. I want one for home, one for my car, and then one for travel. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in carry on that way I always have it when I'm traveling. Great to watch movies on the airplane, but like I said, you can use this anywhere that you need to clamp your phone in place and hold it still. It'd be great for family photos. You can set the timer on your phone and take group photos with this. Just a really good portable device, essential for travel and just videography and pictures in general. You can pick this up right off of Amazon. So I'll link all of the information for it down in the description box for you. But I am so happy that, this, that I finally got my order so that I can put one in my car, my luggage, and in my office. So for my morning snack, I'm going to have a little bit of a hodgepodge. I'm going to do some of the cottage cheese. My healthy eating all the time and Go Bar has a great amount of protein for a bar, but I do need to make sure that I'm filling in the protein gaps with my snack. So I'm going to do 150 grams, which is a little bit over a serving of the Shamrock Low Fat Cottage Cheese. And then I have some fresh blackberries, probably about 50 grams. And then for carbs, I'm going to have my last chocolate rice cake. I love these all by themselves. They have little chocolate chips in them. Super good. And I do need to add a carb in with my snack. And then I'm going to mix up my Motivate Amino, which is my BCAA post recovery supplement after this morning's workout. I just finished my coffee, so it's time to get that BCAA in and I'm just gonna put that in my Lululemon bottle. So here's my snack, my cottage cheese, my blackberries, and then I mixed up my Motivate Amino. I will link Motivate down below for you guys with 20% off. I love the burn. Actually, I love everything from them, but the Amino and the burn are my all-time favorites and things I use every single day. Do you miss your sissy? I know, she's gonna come home, she's at the doctor. Yeah, mama misses her too, buddy. I know, he keeps going to the door looking for her. Even Diesel's been acting a little weird. They're just not sure why she's not here. But she's coming back. Is she gonna come back? Mama, is Laura coming back? Yes, she is. Oh, I know, I know, she's coming. Just a little longer. I just finished my second coaching call of the day. I'm going to have some lunch. We're gonna do kind of a hodgepodge lunch like we did with breakfast. I have some leftovers from Super Bowl yesterday, some veggies I need to eat up, some fruit I need to eat up. So let's head into the kitchen and make some lunch. So for Super Bowl yesterday, we made chicken legs in my air fryer. Some have barbecue sauce on them, some do not. What I'm going to do is shred the meat off of 
some of these chicken legs. I'm shooting for about three ounces of chicken. You do have to track this as chicken thigh or white and dark meat because there is going to be some dark meat as well. And then I'm going to put it on a carb counter wrap. I think I'm gonna do, you know what? Maybe I'll pull the chicken off the barbecue and do like a barbecue chicken wrap. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll put maybe a tablespoon of light cheese on there, we'll see. But I'm going to make basically a chicken wrap. And then I have my red pepper hummus from Sam's Club. I need to use this up. It expires in about two weeks. So I'm going to do hummus and some of my little mini bell peppers. I need to definitely eat those up. And then I did a little fruit tray for Super Bowl as well. So there's some grapes, oranges, blackberries, blueberries. I'm going to weigh out some fruit and we're going to do chicken. We're going to do a barbecue chicken wrap, veggies and hummus and fruit. So I have three ounces of chicken and then some of the sweet baby Ray's no sugar barbecue sauce. We'll warm this up and put together lunch. So here is my lunch. I am super excited for this. So I have my little barbecue chicken wrap. I added about a tablespoon of light shredded cheese. I have some oranges, blueberries, blackberries, grapes for some fruit, and then two tablespoons of hummus with four of my little mini peppers. We have a beautiful, colorful, healthy lunch. So I'll put all the points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Side note, I will link my Uba home plate down below. These are the pre-portioned plates. You guys know how much I love these. I eat on these all the time. I will link them down below with a discount code for you. Three hours later. It is afternoon snack time. I am hungry. So we're gonna keep afternoon snack pretty simple. I'm gonna be heading out the door here in just a couple minutes to go get Lola. So I'm gonna do one of my little Simply Protein Bars. I love these. I got these at Costco. I love them. They're like a crispy rice bar. 150 calories with 15 grams of protein. All the flavors are good. This one's probably my favorite. This is the lemon coconut. I have the dark chocolate sea salt and the chocolate peanut butter. Like I said, they're all really, really good, but it's just the perfect, and I mean perfect afternoon snack. Oh, and you know what else? Actually, for a little bit of extra protein, in addition to the bar, I'm gonna have a string cheese. So these are the Organic Valley string cheese. So I'm gonna do this for my afternoon snack. Simply protein bar and a string cheese. Say, I'm in a car, I gotta go home finally. I miss her so much. See, we're so happy to be home. Lola, you gonna go home, mommy? Oh, here, let me roll your window down. I know it's raining, but you still wanna look outside? Oh, here you go, love. For dinner tonight, I am making a Mexican kind of taco pie recipe. I'm very excited for this. It sounds really good. So let me show you what's in the recipe. So I'm going to add a pound of ground beef. The original recipe did not have any meat in it, but I'm going to add this for some extra protein. So on my website, I will have the points with the ground beef and without. It's definitely going to increase points and calories and things, but I wanted it for the extra protein. You'll need light shredded cheese, frozen or canned corn, a low carb tortilla. Uh, this is frozen diced up green pepper. You will need a green pepper a red bell pepper, fresh or dried cilantro, garlic, an onion, pepper, some canned goods. You'll need enchilada sauce, black beans. I'm using a tri bean, same thing, just some type of bean, fat-free refried beans, green chilies, and taco seasoning. So I'm using my caraway skillet. You guys know how much I love my caraway cookware. I will make sure it's linked down below for you. They're doing some big deals right now. It is such high quality cookware that lasts forever. So you should never have to buy cookware again, which is partially why I invested in a few pieces. So to that, I'm going to add my pound of ground beef, green bell pepper. I'm just going to wing about one green bell pepper. And then I have my red bell pepper that I diced up and my onion. And lastly, some minced garlic. And we're going to allow the ground beef to cook until browned and the veggies until softened. Now we're going to add in a drained and rinsed can of beans. Or you can make your own. The original recipe has all the different spices, so that will be on my website. And then about a cup of frozen corn. Go ahead and stir that all together. Allow it to cook for about two to three minutes. We're going to add in some fresh ground pepper. You can add salt as well. The can of diced green chilies. The can of enchilada sauce. And the cilantro. And again, give it another stir. Allow it to cook for a couple more minutes. So now we're ready to assemble it. So we're going to take our four tortillas and place them in the bottom of a baking dish. 
And then we're going to take the can of refried beans and spread that evenly over the tortillas. Then we're going to add the meat mixture right on top and again spread that out evenly. Then we're going to add one and a half cups of light shredded cheese right on top. Kind of a side note, you can make this in a nine by 13 baking dish if you would rather. I just decided to use this round one. Mine has a lid, so it makes it really easy to store leftovers. I actually bought this at, I think, Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one of those stores for like $7, and I love it. So we're going to put this in a 375 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's nice and bubbly. All right, it is out of the oven. This looks so good. I'm so excited for this. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. I'll be back to share serving size, points, calories, and macros. All right, so here is dinner. I added a couple tablespoons of non-fat Greek yogurt for a sour cream substitute. I'm pretty excited about this. Added a little bit of dried cilantro. So again, all of the information for tonight's dinner will be on the screen. Look what's here. I'm excited. We're gonna try this out for dessert tonight. This is the Halo Top Birthday Cake Light Cake Mix. This is basically like a mug cake from Halo Top, I mean, how cute is the ice cream packaging? Troy actually was like, why is there ice cream on the counter? I'm like, it's not ice cream, it's cake. So we're gonna pop, the, we're gonna make this and try it out, see if it's any good. I hope it doesn't have any weird artificial sugar aftertaste, that's what I'm a little bit afraid of. But we're gonna put this together, taste test it. There was also a chocolate one, I found this at Kroger. It was on an end cap in the baking aisle. So you may be able to find this at your local Kroger or even your local grocery store, but let's mix her up, get in the microwave and give her a taste test. All right, so let's try this out. It says to add two tablespoons and two teaspoons of water. So you can see it looks just like the mug cakes if you were to add cake mix to a cup. I think these were on sale for two for three dollars, so a dollar fifty, so not bad at all. It is 170 calories. There's five grams of protein in here and five grams of fat, so not bad at all for a dessert. So let me add the water, and then it says add two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of water. Stir until well blended, about 30 seconds, and then microwave uncovered on high for 60 seconds. So here's nothing. Okay, stir it up really good for about 30 seconds. It smells really good. It smells like birthday cake. All right, we're gonna put it in the microwave for one minute. All right, here is what she looks like. I have to say it smells really good. It's hot, so I might let it cool for a second. Ooh, look at that. That looks so good. I definitely want to bite with the sprinkles. I was going to see if Troy wanted to try it too since there was no chocolate. You can see all the fun sprinkles in there. Okay, this is really good. It's really good. It reminds me of a Funfetti cupcake without the frosting. That's really good. This is a perfect dessert. You could put some whipped topping on here. You could put some sugar-free caramel sauce. You could put frosting if you wanted. I have to say that it's actually better than I thought that it would be. I don't get any weird sweetener aftertaste. Eight grams of added sugar, which there is some sugar substitute in there. I think it tastes delicious. It tastes like actual birthday cake. So I am about to hop in the shower. I get ready for bed. I want to go to bed here in about an hour or so. So I'm actually going to take my Stelace sleep supplement. I know, how exciting. It is officially back in stock. Stelace is back, which makes me really happy. This is my go-to sleep supplement. You take two capsules about 45 minutes before you go to bed. And let me just tell you how amazing this is. You sleep through the night, you get to sleep, you stay asleep. I wake up super refreshed. There's none of that groggy feeling in the morning. It is absolutely amazing. And it's been out of stock for a while. They were having a bit of a supply issue and it's back. So I'm really, really excited. Highly recommend if you struggle with sleep, if sleep is something that eludes you, if you feel like you just wake up not refreshed, or if you're like me and wake up in the night and then cannot go back to sleep for an hour, 
two hours, you need Solace in your life. I've been taking this now for months and it is my favorite thing in the world. It is the only way that I get good quality sleep consistently. I always have one or two bottles on hand. I will link it down below with the discount and you can set up monthly deliveries. That's what I do. It just automatically comes to my doorstep every single month. So that is a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today. Thank you for hanging out with me and being here with me, taking my mind off of everything going on with Lola. Filming today and talking to you guys has really helped out a lot. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget tonight's dinner recipe is on my website. I'll link everything I shared with you down below, including the lace, my outfit of the day from Timu. All the discount information will be in the description box. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday and I upload five videos a week. Check out that description box for everything I shared with you today, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite thing, and come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.